Hello everybody, my name is Jed Archibald. I am a dental technician. I am the owner of Archibald Aesthetics and Archibald Digital. Um, I grew up with my uh, father, John Archibald, who was running laboratory school with Dr. Gordon Christensen. So I've kind of grown up in this industry and I've had a lot of great experiences seeing many different companies and many different products and trying different techniques. Um, so that's who I am. So I just recently purchased the DOF Craft 5X and I am a previous owner of the Sharp 2 Plus. Uh, my main reason for purchasing the Craft 5X um, is really I feel very confident that DOF is investing heavily uh, in the U.S. market. It feels like it's very important and I really do appreciate and I love companies that are innovative, not just creative, but innovative and really make a commitment to making our industry better. Um, so I've really kind of appreciated the company from those standpoints and those are some of the reasons that led me to purchasing the 5X. Yeah, so I previously have just had the Sharp 2 Plus um, and by itself and it's been, it's been reliable for me, it's been doing good. Uh, but it's running non-stop and running zirconia even though it can do wet, it can do dry, it can do everything um, it's really just been overloaded with zirconia so for me personally um, it's going to be nice to have a second mill in here so I can actually work in things like a little bit of glass ceramics but mainly doing titanium abutments um, we needed a second mill in here so we can juggle that rather than designing but outsourcing um, our titanium abutments so it's going to be nice to be able to juggle the two. We'll most likely do the abutments on the craft, but we'll also still try some on the shark too. So we'll probably designate them that way mainly. One will be doing non-stop zirconia and the other one will be able to work in some abutments here and there. Yeah, that is a great, great question. What differentiates the craft from other mills on the market? Um, one of the things and the main thing I really love about the Kraft and the Sharp is that they are electric driven machines. Um, all the other mills on the market essentially are uh, air compressor driven. And when you start adding up all the dominoes that go into having a mill, having a milling machine, having a milling room, and having a mechanical room and things like that, um, the compressor is such a big, big issue. It's a big investment. It's a big maintenance issue, um, and we've seen the huge advancements from going to electric hand pieces in our laboratories, how much that has cut down on a lot of the headaches that we've had uh, just with our standard maintenance, um, along with the cost. The other thing I really love about it being an electric mill and an electric machine is that it makes it a lot more modular meaning I can move it more easily from one room to another. It's not kind of like you don't have to plant the whole building around the milling machine, uh, which has been a wonderful benefit, a side benefit with COVID-19 right now. Essentially, I can take the mill, because it's just one cord, I can take the mill and move it from one room to another. I can take it from the office and you can move it to your home um and keep it running you don't have to build a room just for a mill so it's a lot more similar to what we're used to in the laboratory when we're dealing with 3d printers when we're dealing with our porcelain ovens uh, our pressing ovens and things like that having a strong a, a strictly electric machine is a huge advantage it just eliminates tons and tons of headaches um, and yet to see some of the other advantages out there. I was really curious as to some of the other benefits we might see and I'm still excited to see what we might see from them. But that's the main reason. Yeah, so I mean, my greatest advice, I mean, because we we get asked a lot of things about, you know, what would we buy, what would we do? And we've been asked that kind of my, my whole life, essentially, growing up through the lab school. Um, and the greatest piece of advice is, look, you have to understand that every company out there can make a great piece of equipment. Every company out there can also make a bad piece of equipment. The most important thing is when you buy a piece of equipment, is the company going to be there and they're going to stand by you regardless of what happens. 
uh, but also consider the hidden costs. There are lots of hidden costs when it comes to milling machines. There's not just the machine. You're not just buying a oven to sit on the bench, but you have a machine, you have the cam. If you're buying someone else's mill, you have to consider the compressor. I strongly consider getting one that is 10 times bigger than what they recommend. They always under spec and oversell you one. Um, so make sure you consider all the little hidden costs. Are you getting all the fixtures? Are you getting all the tools? All these things snowball. And so you might be thinking you're buying a milling machine for 25,000, but you end up spending 60,000 in the end. So make sure you really consider all the snowball hidden costs. And uh, that's where the Craft 5X really starts to stand out when you look at it in those terms.